Nishari Eversley, a sophomore liberal arts major, is often frustrated because she can't find a place to sit. There's no place to sit at Hunter. The library is crowded. The floor is so dirty, I can't believe I have to sit here. Look where I'm sitting, I'm next to a freaking trash can. The fifth floor library, which is known as the place where students can peacefully eat and study, has been closed for renovation since the beginning of the fall semester. Library staff such as Tony Doyle, the media studies librarian and a philosophy professor, admits there is a seating shortage. You see students sitting on the floor, uh, and we don't know how many students don't stay in the library because they can't find a place to sit. The main cafeteria is almost always full as it is one of the few places on campus for students to eat. When that's full, students have to settle for sky bridges and hallway floors when the few seats around are taken. The glass cafeteria may be closed most of the times, but when it's open, there are hardly any students here. As you can see, there are no students at the moment since the morning. This may be due to the fact that the blinds are closed almost all of the time. And also, the door is closed from the outside. Kevin Nesbitt, Assistant Dean for Student Affairs, says the administration is aware of the problem. I don't think students have um, spaces that feel exclusively like their space here. That's what's missing um, at Hunter. But I'm really excited that we realize that now and that we're working on it. 100 new chairs have been added to the West Lobby, and there will be more seats in the new student union, which is opening in Thomas Hunter Hall.